When someone decides to look for a divorce attorney, how do they start? What we tend to, to find is that people look to their friends, they look to their colleagues, they look to their family members to get recommendations. And then the next step is making the appointment, calling the attorney, making a consultation, and then sitting down with them, whether it's by Zoom or in person, depending on you know, where we are at that given moment. And really, it's about getting a comfort level. We tell people, and we don't take every case that comes in our door, we don't take uh, because we have to be comfortable too. So I really tell people it's about a partnership. It's about feeling comfortable with who you're going to work with for the next six months to two years and making sure that you trust the answers to the questions. It makes sense. You're comfortable with the fact that there's a dialogue back and forth and you're getting your questions actually answered, that people are listening to you. It really becomes, as I say, we're a partnership. We are not, I'm not in control. I'm working with you through the process. Are there specific questions they should ask? Anything. We tell people, this is your time to ask any question you have. We have a dialogue we go through and think people need to know about the process. And we have questions we need to know about them so we can give them advice on direction on where the case is going. By the same token, I say nothing's off limits. Ask any question you want. You want questions about my style, how I approach things. You really need to get a comfort level on where the case would go if you're going to hire that particular attorney.